Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I created this look. Um, you can wear this for any occasion, whether it's a wedding, whether it's for, you know, Eid, whether it's for prom, just any occasion. Um, I wanted to do something a bit different today, so I am going to do a voiceover instead. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Do let me know if you do like the voiceover or if you'd rather just me talk throughout the whole, you know, video. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, this is the look. Very glam, very dewy, glowy. Also, if you want to see a hair tutorial, um, on how I style my short hair do let me know in the comments section below and I will record that for you also um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter and yeah let's get into it I hope you guys enjoy Make sure you give this thumb a uh, video a th let me say that again. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and click on the bell button so you get notified for when I upload videos. Let's get into it. So I'm just pinning my hair back so it's away from my face and let's get started so here i'm using the ysl tissue clap blur primer um i'm just putting it all over my face i love the texture of this it's just so smooth and it makes the foundation apply so much more easier and i absolutely love it now I am applying foundation. The foundation that I'm using is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I am in the shade Syracuse. I love being a bit more, you know, brown. I love being a bit more golden, just a bit more tan so I look a bit more healthy. Um, so I'm just dotting that all over my face and I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. So now I'm using a cream contour. This is a Tom Ford shade and illuminate in the shade Intensity 1. And I'm using this in the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead. I'm also going to use this on my jawline and my nose. And this is just going to give my face a bit of structure, a bit of definition. A lot of people find it hard to use cream contour because they find it hard to blend but honestly practice makes perfect and just keep on practicing and you'll actually love it it's so easy so natural so yeah just keep on practicing Now I'm going to be highlighting my face. This is the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade Honey. I'm just using this to brighten the areas that I want to stand out. So that's under my eyes, uh, my chin, the bridge of the nose, 
um, my cupid's bow, the center of my forehead. I just want those areas to stand out and look highlighted and brightened. And then I'm going to blend all of this out with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge that I was using earlier. I'm just blending out my contour and I'm also going to be blending out the highlighted areas and make sure that there's no harsh lines. I'm then going to go in with a second concealer and this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm only using a little bit, I'm not using much because it is full coverage and I'm just using this under my eyes just to give me extra coverage. So now I'm just going to contour my nose with the Tom Ford, Tom Ford shade and illuminate. Um, I just find it easier to do this once everything else is blended out. Um, so yeah, I just find it easier, and I'm just using a small brush, and I'm just going on the sides of my nose to make it slimmer, and I'm blending that out with the BB blender. So now that everything is blended, we are going to set our face. I'm using the Chanel powder, a loose powder. It's a peachy pinky powder. And I'm just placing that where I put my highlight, so under my eyes, so that my eyes don't crease. On the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead. So now that I've placed all the powder on my face, I'm going to wipe it off with this MAC 224 brush. Um, I'm not letting the powder sit on my face as, as you call it, baking. I'm not really letting it bake. I'm just placing it and then wiping it all away. And then I'm going to set my cream contour with a powder and the powder that I'm using is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I absolutely love this because this is not too, you know, orange. It's a cool toned bronzer which I absolutely love. Um, so it's great for contouring. 
so I'm just placing it where I placed my cream contour which is on the cheekbones on my forehead my jawline and my nose so I'm just setting those places with this bronzer so I am going to speed up this process because I do spend a lot of time blending and making sure that everything's all blended and making everything you know flawless So now I'm going to highlight my face. I absolutely love highlighting. I think it just gives a, a radiance to your skin. It gives you a natural glow within. And I'm just using this Kiko highlighter in the shade 208 um, on my cheekbones, on the temples of my forehead, and also my brow bone. And my cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose oh god i love it i love it so because i love highlighting i'm gonna go in with a second highlighter and this is the laura geller gilded honey highlighter and i'm just putting it on top of the kiko one to be honest, um, I like highlighters that are less shimmery, like the Kylie Cosmetics. It's, you know, it just gives you that natural glow. It doesn't have too much shimmer in it. Uh, but because of this video, I just decided to go in and I just decided to do these two highlighters. Uh, my brows are not that sparse. Um, they're quite thick and they're quite full already I just fill it in a little bit um, so now I'm just using this matte pencil and I'm just lightly going over the areas that need a bit more you know definition to be honest but my brows are naturally really thick and full um, so I don't really fill them in that much So now I'm setting my brows with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. It's the clear one. So I'm just setting that so my brows don't move and they are set in place. So now I'm using a translucent powder and this is the trusty, trusty Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just using this right under my cream contour. This is to define my, you know, jawline and I'm also using this translucent powder on the sides of my nose just to make it more slimmer and... Yeah, so now I'm using a concealer and I'm just cleaning up my brow bone and also I'm dragging that down onto my eyelid just to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow. So I've just zoomed into the camera so that you can see more clearly. I've done one eye off the camera. Um, so I will be showing you how I did it on the second eye. Um, so I'm just setting my eyelids with the translucent powder just to set that concealer in place for the eyeshadow. And right here I literally just poked my eye. And my eye was watering so much. And... Yeah, what a shame.
so now I'm just using a brown shade and this is by MAC it's in the shade cork I'm literally just blending this into my crease and just sweeping it out a little and I'm literally just putting it on most of my lid um, so yeah I'll leave everything in the description bar below but I'm literally just using two eyeshadows and this is this is such an easy simple look that you can use for any occasion and I've got a clean blending brush so that you know there's no harsh lines and everything's all blended out so I'm just going back and forth with that and I'm using the Sephora shimmery eyeshadow um, and I'm just placing that on the center of my lid like so I'm then going to get that brush that I used in my crease and blend everything together so that everything's all merged together and all blended. I'm then going to get this Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Cotton Candy Cream and I'm using that in the inner corners of my eyes, um, my brow bar. I'm using the same brown that I used in my crease as my lower lash line. Um, so as you can see I'm not bringing it down too far I'm just doing a really light layer right under my eyes just to make sure that it's you know connected and make sure that it looks you know like it's one if that makes sense so now I'm just using that peachy shade from MAC it's a blusher but I'm using it as an eyeshadow under my lash line um, I forgot to tell you I actually use that peachy blusher um, on my cheeks so that's why I'm using it un for my lash line So I just did my eyeliner off camera because it's actually quite difficult to do eyeliner on camera. So now I'm just applying a little bit of mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Just a small amount. Um, and then I'm going to be applying eyelashes. Of course. So I'm just blending everything out making sure that all the powders are off my face and everything's all blended now i'm going to apply my lip um i used two shades and i mixed them together i'll list everything below um so you know what i'm using and the names and everything but I'm just mixing these two nudie shades together and just applying it with my finger. I'm then going to apply a lip gloss. This is by MAC and it's an Oyster Girl. And I absolutely love it. We are nearly to the end guys, I promise. I'm using this Fix Plus uh, by MAC just to set my face and spritzing that all over my face. So I'm all done 
and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments section below what more you'd like to see so I can film them for you guys. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and comment. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.